Well, praise the Lord. Swami Nwahan said, Prashan Saveva. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm excited to be here. Two years ago, I had tickets booked to come to Sri Lanka. But then the, the, the coronavirus. No travel. Two years ago, I had 12 nations all lined up to go to. That included going to Israel to preach. But didn't get to any of them. But here we are, finally back in Sri Lanka. And it's such a privilege to be here in uh, your church pastor. And I'm looking forward to uh, encouraging you in your faith and in the season that we are in. So we have three nights of ministry. And uh, I'll share with you uh, in a moment what I'm going to share tonight. But tomorrow night, unless the Lord changes it, I want to talk about a revival and how God is going to use you to bring in the greatest harvest this world has ever seen. And, and then Sunday night, I want to bring a prophetic word that will show us that what God did in the beginning is the platform of what he's going to do at the end. And so if you can be here, then I would encourage you to come. But tonight, I want to bring a word here tonight uh, and do some uh, teaching. And uh, tonight's message is entitled Understanding Test Trials and Temptations. And, and I want to, I want to bring this as a foundation so that we are ready to do what God has called us to do. And now, sadly, uh, in many different places all over the world, Christians are very confused. Because some people think that God is the one who sends the problems. And uh, they think God is sending uh, problems to try and correct you. Uh, to discipline you. Or to punish you. Uh, I spent uh, uh, many years going to China. And uh, when I first started going, the, the believers in the underground church in China believed God was the one that was punishing them. Everything that went long, wrong in their life, they said that's God trying to correct us. And sadly, I have found that many people all over the world 
have the same thinking kanagatura karunana loke anipalatwalaya pawa me aakarata thamai sithanne and yet the bible tells us that god is a god of love namuth bible e pawa sanne deviyan wahanse premaye devi kenek kiya and sometimes you know preachers say well we have to suffer for jesus namuth samaharak vita deshaye kiyanna puluwan yesus udesa api duk vindinta one well we want to find out tonight is god the one who's sending the problems your way me ratri abi dakin balanta yanne deviyan mahanse dubai jeevithe margeta prashna kardara ivanne do we have to suffer for jesus jesus udesa api duk vindinta one eda you see if we don't answer these questions correctly tapi me prashna walta pilituru apita nolabunoth hariyata then we will not be able to participate in the coming revival and the next move of god ehema nan apita bari wenawa idirata enda thibena pipidimata saha deviyan wahanse idiri edi karanta yana kriyawan walata sahabagi wenda this will hinder us from fulfilling what god has called us to do then me de tamai apata baadawak wenta yanawa deviyan wahanse wisin apawa kendewwa ude karana pinisa see i heard, heard people preach that god is going to test your faith mama asa tibena deshakeyan deshana karana deviyan wahanse ope adahilla pariksha karana and so he sends these tests your way to test your faith i think debian wahanse obey market meveni aakare aakare parikshawal ewanawa obe adahilla pariksha karanta so we need to look at some of these questions tonight tad ratriye menna me wage prashna diha api balanta yanawa does god send things to test your faith obe adahilla sodisi pariksha karana pinisa debian wahanse prashna ewanawada and see if we think god is the one who's sending the problems da bhi itanu nam deviyan wahanse thamai me prashna ewanne then we don't want to fight god ehema nam deviyan wahanse tekka apita randu karaganta one ne we don't want to resist god deviyan wahanse da viruddha wenta apita one ne so if god sending the problems deviyan wahanse nam me prashna ewanne then i'm not going to do anything ehena mang mukut nokara inta yana because i don't want to resist god he tu mata deviyan wahanse da viruddha wenna beha you can see how the church can get into a lot of confusion then nobody dak pena wa mona wage viyawul bawa ekata sabhava enna puluwan kiya and you see we want a fresh move of god na apita awashya karana deviyan wahanse ke na so we have so we have to understand what does the word of god say enan api therum ganta awashyai deva wachane pawasanne kumakda kiya So tonight we're going to look at three things. Karuna tunak diha api ada ratri balanta yanawa. Where do test trials and temptations come from? Pariksha bida e wageema prashna kohenda pavinenne. Number 2. Deka are they sent to perfect my faith? E deval mage ada hilla sampurna karanta pavinenawada. And number 3. Number 3 uh, weni karuna does does god get glory out of test trials and temptations me pariksha e wagema pida walin deviyan wahanse ta mahimaya labenawada so let's open our bibles tonight to james chapter 1 yakob palaveni parichede desa balamu and uh, we're going to read verses 2 3 and 4 deka tuna sa hatara pada desa balanta yana James chapter 1 verse 2 Jacob eke deka It says my brethren count it all joy when you fall into various trials Mage sahodareni numalage adahilla sodisi kirimen shanti guni upadina bawa dana anikshakara pariksha walta wetna kala e siyalla preetiyak yai salakanna Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience නුඹලාගේ ඇදහිල සෝසි කිරීමෙන් ශාන්ති ගුණය උපදින බව දැන. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect, complete, lacking nothing. නමුත් නුඹලා කිසිවකින් අඩුව නොසිට සියලු ආකාරයෙන්ම සම්පූර්ණව සිටින පිණිස ශාන්ති ගුණය සම්පූර්ණ ලෙස ක්‍රියා කරේවා. Now here James is answering an age old question. දැන් මෙතන යාකොබ් තුමා ආදි කාලයේ සිට ආවා වූ ප්‍රශ්නයකටයි පිළිතුරු සපයන්නේ. Right at the very beginning of the church. සභාවේ මූල ආරම්භයේදී. The devil came to steal the word. 
యక్షయా వచనే సొరకం కరంట పెవినియా and the same question was asked at the beginning of the church that's being asked today then adha davase hana prashne ma samay sabaha ma mula aramba edit yesuve is god causing our problem devyan wahanse da apata prashna walta hetuwa why are we going through the situations that we are going through api den me muna dena tatwayan walta ei api muna denne but he james says count it all joy namu jacob tuma kiyanne me siyal preetiyak yai salakanna why am i going to count it all joy nei ma me deval preetiyak hetira salakanne we are going to find out something very valuable here in a moment ha matma watena deyak api soya balanta if you're going through a difficult time right now na me mohuthe oba ita amaru kaalayak tulin yanawa nam you can you can count it all joy obata pulang uirda panala preethi wenna me vidiyata and we're going to find out why ai kiyane hetu api dana soya balanta yana so james says count it all joy aya yakokuma tuma kino meka preethiyak yai salakanna fall into various trials aneka akara pariksha walata wetena kala the the uh, king james says temptations ekka pari ingrisi parivartane ekka kiyenawa parikshawa kiya so we're talking about test trials or temptations etakota me parikshawal pidawal saha sodisi kirim ganai api katha karanta yanne so why can i count it all joy ai mam me ka preetiyak yai salakanne knowing that the testing of your faith obe adahilla sodisi kirim tulin kiya tibena now we need to see something very important here is god testing your faith devyan wahanse obe adahilla sodisi karanawada and the answer is god is not testing your faith pilithura devyan wahanse obe adahilla sodisi karanne naha let me tell you some good news abo obata honda yahapat aranchiyak ma kiya you want to hear some good news yahapat aranchiyak asana kemathida god has already tested faith devyan wahanse me wana vitat adahilla sodisi kara tibenawa and he tested it with jesus eka unwahanse yesus wahanse tula sodisi kara beluwa jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith yesus wahanse ape adahille ආරම්භකයත් අවසන් කරන්නත් so it's been tested in jesus එතකොට යේසුස් වහන්සේ තුල ඒක සෝදිසි කරලායි තියෙන්නේ and faith works ඇදහිල ක්‍රියා කරනවා so god's not trying to test your faith එතකොට දෙවියන් වහන්සේ ඔබේ ඇදහිල සෝදිසි කරන්න බලන්න යන්නේ නැහැ he knows faith works වහන්සේ දන්නවා ඇදහිල ක්‍රියා කරන බව but what we're going to find out නමුත් අපි කුමක්ද සොයා බලන්න යන්නේ is the devil is testing your faith yaksha obe adahilla sodisi karanawada see you are an incredible threat to the devil da yaksha to obawa loku tarajanaya you know sometimes you know people say is there going to be a rapture of the church i think samarak aya hitenawa sabahave osawa ganima siddha wenta yanawada before the antichrist antichristu enta isella the one world government තනි පාලනයක් තිබෙන එකම රාජ්‍යයක් the mark of the beast මුර්ගයාගේ සලකුණ there has to be a rapture ඔසවා ගැනීමක් තිබෙන්න අවශ්‍යයි because you are a threat to the devil මොකද ඔබව යක්ෂයාට තර්ජනයක් your faith changes things ඔබේ ඇදහිල්ල දේවල් වෙනස් කරනවා if there was ever an argument for a pre rapture of the church it's faith ඉතින් මොන හරි තර්කයක් තිබෙනවා නම් ඔසවා ගැනීම සිද්ධ වෙනවා කියා you see the devil පීඩා කාලෙට කලින් ඒක තමයි ඇදහිල්ල the devil comes against you because you have faith the yaksha obata viruthawa feminine ai obata adahilla tibena nisa so you can count it all joy ide obata pulo meka preethiyak yai salakanna the devil's mad at me obata uda panala kiyanna puluwan balanna yaksha man gena tarangin innawa because i have faith mukata mata adahilla tibena nisa i can change things mata puluwan dewal wenas karanna i can change his plan mata puluwan yaksha ge salasum wenas karanna i can stop him from fulfilling his purpose in my life mage jeevithe ohu ge salasum aramunum ishta weema nathara karanta mata puluwan see let me give you some examples of faith na adahilla gena mama udaharana kipayak obata kiyanna remember the woman with the issue 
issue of blood. Listen to what Jesus said to her. He said to her, Woman, daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you whole. Your faith. Your faith. Her faith changed her circumstances. You are a threat to the devil. I love the story of Bartimaeus. I think I preached that last time. I'm glad I preached it, but I wish I hadn't so I could preach it again. <laughs> but Bartimaeus was blind. I mean, he had some big problems. But then Jesus came past. And Bartimaeus cried out. Son of David, have mercy on me. What's Bartimaeus about to do? He's about to use the fourth, the force of faith to change his world. You see, the devil's after your faith. And, and listen to what Jesus said to Bartimaeus. He said, go your way. Your faith has made you whole. Your faith. Church, tonight I want to tell you, your faith will change your world. And you can count it all joy when you fall into various test trials and temptations. Yet knowing that the testing of your faith it'll produce patience. Now, what is patience? Patience is the ability to stand and not be moved. Are you ready for this? For as long as it takes. Well, I prayed last night and nothing happened. Where's your patience? I prayed. I spoke the word. I put my faith out. Patience. I will stand. For as long as it takes. The, the testing of my faith produces Patience. God's, God will never fail. So if you think tests, trials and temptations are sent by God to test you, and many people do, then you don't want to resist God. And it nullifies and brings to naught your faith. Because what the devil is after is your faith, your ability to change your world. I'm so glad for God's word that I can declare God's word and live by faith. Because I want to change my world. And if you want to change your world tonight, then you have 
something that the world does not have. එසේනම් මේ ලෝකෙට නැති යම ඔබ තුල තිබෙනවා. You have faith. ඔබට ඇද හෙල්ල තිබෙනවා. And that's what the devil is after. දැන් ඒක පස්සේ තමයි යක්ෂය ආන්නේ. You see I felt led to bring this message tonight. මට හිතුණා මේ පණිවිඩය අතර රාත්‍රි මම ගෙන්ට අවශ්‍යයි කියලා. And I know you're well taught here. මම දන්නවා ඔබට හොඳට ඔබට හොඳට ඔබට ඉගෙන ගන්න වචනය ලැබෙනවා. But I wanted to lay a foundation for what I believe I will share tomorrow night. මම හෙට දවසේ දේශනා උගන්වන්නට යන දෙයට අතිවාරම දමන්ටයි මට අවශ්‍ය කරන්නේ. Because God is raising up an army of believers to go into their world and make a difference. ඉතින් දෙවියන් වහන්සේ අදෙහිලි වන්තයන් හමුදාවක් කොට නගනවා ඕන් වෙතට ගොස් ඒ ජාතිය ජාතින් ගොඩ නගන පිණිස. And we are going to change our world by faith. ඊපේ ලෝකය අපි වෙනස් කරන්න යන්නේ අදෙහිලෙන්. Now let's go to 1 John chapter 5. එක යොහාන් 5. and we're going to find out tonight that if you're a believer here tonight this this message is talking about you now the doubts about the hill like the hill one take now me pani video kiyanne oba ganai and so first john chapter 5 ek johan pahe and verse 4 hatar it says for whatever is born of god overcomes the world mark nisada deviyan wahanseken upan yamak adda eh lokhen jay ganne And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Lokhen jay gena thibenne our faith. Ape the hillaya. So tonight if you're born of God. Ida oba devyan wahanse gen nan upata laba sitinne. How many people here tonight are born of God? Da devyan wahanse gen upata laba sitinna ki denek sitinawada. I'm in the right place. Mena mama hari sthane thamai sitinne. Well this is definitely talking about you. Let me gani varin katha karanne oba ganai. It says if you're born of God, he pawasanne oba debiyan wahanse gen upata laba sitinawada. You have overcome the world. Oba lokhen jaya gena tibena bawai. No matter what the devil tries to do, yakshya oba ota kumak karanta heduwat. You are a world overcomer. Oba lokhen jaya gattu kenek. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm a world overcomer. Mamat lokhen jaya gattu kenek. It doesn't matter what the devil does. Lyakshya kumak kalat prashnayak ne. I'm a world overcomer. Mama lokhen jaya gattu kenek. And this is the victory we have. Then apata tibena jaya nam to overcome the world. Lokhen jaya ganna pinisa. And it's a four letter word. Eka akuru hatare wachanayak ingrisi. And it starts with F. Eka සිංහලෙන් නම් ඇයන්නෙන් පටන් ගන්න වචනය. And it's called faith. ඒකට කියන්නේ ඇදහිල්ල. Your faith. ඔබේ ඇදහිල්ල. Overcomes the world. ඒක තමයි ලෝකෙන් ජය ගන්න යන්නේ. And because it's faith that overcomes the world. ඇදහිල්ල නම් ලෝකෙන් ජය ගන්න සලස්වන්නේ. It's the devil who's after that faith. එහෙමනම් යක්ෂයා පස්සෙන් ඉන්නෙත් ඒ ඇදහිල්ලේ පස්සෙන් තමයි යක්ෂයා සිටින්නේ. Jesus says the thief comes immediately to steal the word. ඒ යේසස් වහන්සේ කිව්වා සතුරා එවලෙම පැමිණෙනවා වචනය හොරකම් කරන්න. Now why does he come immediately? දැන් ඒ ක්ෂණය කින්ම ඔහු පැමිණෙන්නේ ඇයි? Because if he can take that out before it starts to grow. දැන් ඒක වර්ධනය වෙන්න කලින් ඒක ඔහු යක්ෂයාට පුළුවන් නම් හොරකම් කරන්න. Now I don't know about you. මම ඔබ ගැන දන්නේ නැහැ. But I can give my testimony. මම මගේ සාක්ෂිය පුළුවන් මට කියන්න. I was saved when I was 9 years old. අවුරුදු 9දී තමයි මා ගැලවීම ලැබුවේ. I'm 73 years old now. දැන් මම අවුරුදු 72ක් තරුණයි. Ready to retire. Oh no, I can't retire. You won't let me. Hatta tuna. Will you? <laughs> It's too late to tell me this does not work. Sorry. It's too late to tell me this doesn't work. Ada me ada hilla veda karanne naha kiyala kiyanna dan nam parakku wedi mata. The roots of the tree have gone down very deep. Dan mage jeevithaye me mul hondatama pahathatama ada 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 mudala ada lai thibenne. And whatever storm comes. Thoram kumana kanatuwak paminiyan. the tree will stand menna me vidiyata gahana atanawa you know if you plant a tree na oba gahak pala karama and after a week satiyakata passe your wife says to you obe paharyawa obata kiyenawa darling prema wantya 
I would like that tree move from here to there. Mama Kamathi may pele vetering arang atanta pele karan. Some of you men know what I'm talking about. Dang samara ko pa dano me kumang kya na theki ani kya. Well, it's very easy to dig that tree out and move it. Dang hari pahasu yeh pele he mo gula na tawat yana ka pele karan. But after three or four years, she says, I want to move it. Namo tawur tu rang atra kada pasi ay ki wo gula la alat ani tawat yana kim pele karan na kila. And that tree has grown very tall. Etukuru den gaha goda kusata gihilai thiyenne. You look at her. Den oba ay diha bala kiyanne. With as much love as you can bring out. Puluwan tarang aadaren. And you say darling. Oba kiyenawa aadaravanthaya premanthaya. The roots of that tree have gone down too deep. Mul hondatama gamburatama gihilla iwarai. It cannot be moved. Den meka ehata karanna beha. And see that's what you need to have. Dan nanne e wage mul thamai obata tibena awashya karanne. Don't let the devil come and steal that word. Ita harin de pa yakshya ta e wachane hora kam karanna. Keep watering it. Ekata dikata ma wathura dan. Until you become strong. Hontata shaktimat wena kham. And the devil cannot steal your faith. Eta kota yakshya ta beri wena obe adahi hora kam karanna. Because your joy. Man da obe preetiya keeps on coming up. Dikata ma pamin e uthura ayanta yanawa. You know That word joy. Let me pray to you. Know what you need. It means to jump up and down. That is the term of order. Penala. To have a bright face. Dikatta ma me that penala. On that. And to spin around. Ita passe on that karaki karaki. So if you are struggling with joy. Iting oba da pray to you samaga gya. Pora bedi mati penana. Jump up and down. Oba uda penina. Smile real big. That pen on that hi na vela. And turn around. Mamare akko ge kara kenna. And say, devil, that's for you. Ida passe. You cannot steal my faith. Yaksha ata kianna mage adahi lo bata bea hora kang karanna. Mage priiti o bata bea hora kang karanna. Amen. Amen. See, as a believer. Adahi levanti khati ata. You stand in a different place than the world. Lo ke ata vada obasiti ne vena hita kan hita kena siti ne vena stane kai. Yep, because you see. What the devil is after is your faith. Godha yakshya enne obe eda hilla passe. Because your faith will change your circumstances. He to obe eda hilla thamai obe vaatavarane wenas karanta yanne. If you don't like your circumstance, to obe vaatavare oba kemathi naththam. Then speak to it. Ekata oba katha karanna. Command it to change. Anu karanna wenas wenna kiya. Let me share a funny story. Mang oba da vihilu kathawak beda gannam. Back home my wife planted a, a, a few bushes in the garden. Na mage bahare awa mage divase panduru kipayak pala kara. And she kept on watering the bushes and watering and watering and watering. E panduru walata e dikatama wathura damma. And they would not grow. Pase panduru loku vardane une naha. I said to her Mange kiwa premawantiya leave the bushes to me. Mata denna e panduru tika. I said you're giving them too much water. Onta vedi oba panduru panduru ta vatru dana vedi. I went over to the bushes. Mama panduru langata giya. I said to them. Mama panduru langata gihila kiwa. I want to apologize. Mangko mata sama wenna. For my wife. Mage baare awa nisa. She has not looked after you properly. Mage baare awa oya awa harira balagena neha. I'm taking over. Dan man thamai baara ganni. And I'm speaking to you. Man dan obata katha karanawa. And I'm commanding you to grow. Man obata ana karanawa vardane wenna. Do you want to know what happened? But I know the mukha doni kya. They started to grow. Un vardane venna patang gatta. I spoke to them. Mango ta khat mangi pandural ta khata kala. Do you speak to do you speak to trees? O ba hai o ba gasal ta khata karna wada. Yeah. Oh. Jesus did. Jesus swan se kala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So you your faith is what the devil is after. I think obey adahi le passe tamai yaksha inne. Now I I been been waiting to get here to preach this message and I prayed all day oh god I hope it's the right message. Mama ya kya kara mata hari pani vidiya denna kya debiyan wase ki illuwa. But I know that it's important that we understand these principles. Na na ek ita vedakat me moola dharma api dena ganima. Because today in this modern world, you can listen to many voices, and not listen to the voice of your pastors. And so you can get into all sorts of confusion. There's a lot of prophecy out there at the moment about 
things that are happening in the world. Lokhev siddha bhina deval sambandha bahu anagata vekit kiyawena. I'm not going to say much about that because I might get into trouble. Mange gena wadiya pawasanta yanne naha mama loku karatareka wetenne yana nisa. So we need to get back to the prophetic word. It may anagata vekhi tibenna wachane vetu tapi ayuthu wenawa. See if if I'd been announced tonight I'm a prophet and I would have a word for everybody in the church. The mama anagata vaktu wore sabawe hamotama mata wachane. Wachane ak tiyena kiyala kiwut sabawa pirin peyana. But I've got some news for you. Amut mata tibenawa kiyanta obada aranchi. I have a prophecy for every single one of you. ඔබ හැම කෙනෙකුටම දෙන්න අනාව එකක් මට තිබෙනවා. Here's the prophetic word for you. මේක තමයි ඔබ උදෙසා තිබෙන අනාව එකක්. And it'll take your whole life and everything you have just to fulfill this prophecy. ඉතින් මේ අනාව එකක් ඔබගේ මුළු ජීවිතේම සම්පූර්ණ වෙන්න යනවා. So again you have overcome the world system. ඉතින් ඔබ ලෝකයේ පද්ධතියෙන් ඔබ ජයගෙන තිබෙනවා. So let's have a look at at Romans chapter 12 and verse 3 Roman 12:3 because i want to cover this tonight ame ratri man kemati gena katha karanna so romans chapter 12 roman 12 and verse 3 tung weni padaya and paul says this paul tuma menna mehema kiyena for i say through the grace given to me to everyone who is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly as god has dealt to each one a measure of faith numala ekine ka asusu taramara wada tama tama gana uthum kota nosita bihyan wahanse ekine kaata beda dun adahille pramaniya lesa pamana dana sitana hatiyata mata dena lada anugrahayen numala athrehi ekine kaata kiyami i love this verse mamme padeta godak kemathi because here's the thing that makes us all equal the make tama api hamoba samana karana dana everyone api hamoma say everyone kiyan api hamoma that means you egaro batayti everyone hamoma has been given hamota ma di tibenawa a measure of faith eta hille pramanaya I I I get really excited about this. The me again ma hari ma probodama. Because you have been given the same faith that Jesus had. Then Jesus swan said thipunu ada illama obata di tibenawa. You know I, I go to some places. Man samara tang walata gihama. Oh pastor would you pray for us? Apita yagna karanna puluwanda kiyala magen ahana. And and give us the anointing. Ita passe kiyana mata yalepe denna. I say no. No. Man kiyana naha. No, I'm not going to pray and give you the anointing. Man kiyana naha. Yakna karala man alepe obata denna. Sometimes people say would you I want your anointing. Samara kai kiyana obage ma alepe mata denna. I say you can't have it. Man kiyana ehema obata ehema laben laba ganna beha. You're a thief. Oba etakota horek. That's mine. Eka mage. And then I say this. Ita passe man menna mehema kiyana. Even if you could get it. ඔබට ලැබුණත් ඒක What would you do with it? ඔබ ඒකෙන් කොමක්ද කරන්න යන්නේ? When you're not even using the one you already have. දැන්ට ඔබට දැනටමත් තිබෙන දේ ඔබ පාවිච්චි නොකරන තැන. Amen. Amen. See you are as anointed as Jesus. Jesus wants a වගේ ඔබත් ආලේ ප ලබා සිටිනවා. Oh pastor if I only had the anointing. කෙනෙක් කැන් ප්‍රම මට ආලේ පේ තිබුණා නම් pastor. I mean if I, if, if I just had that special anointing mata e vishesha ale pe tibuna nan pastor I, I, i mean some people just have a special anointing samara kayata vishesha ale peak labena kiyena no 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 na na eka hema nemei no no see god did something so precious devian wanse ta narka deyak kala he gave everybody wanse siyalu denata ma dunna the same faith ekama adahilla and why did he give you his faith nei oh unwahanse unwahanse ge adahilla obata dunne he expects you to use that faith unwahanse bala poruthu wena obaye adahilla paavichi karai kiya to change your world obe ma loke obata wenas karana pinisa see we are moving into a fresh move of god dra api deviyan wahanse ge neum 
ராஜ்யத்தை <laughs> and i'll talk about that tomorrow night ekat <laughs> mama <laughs> cuz i i was in the army and when they when the commander and she said to do something you said yes sir de mama hamudave inna kota hamudave anapath anakarana kena kena yamak mata kiwama o swami ni kela mama whether you felt like it or not mata ek karanta hitunath nathath you're in the army oba inni aham hamudave yes sir o sir We're going to do what the head of the church tells us to do. Sabahave naayakya kiyana de api karanta wenawa. But we need to know that we have his faith to do our part. Ee thing ape kotasa karana pinisa ohuge hadahilla apitath labi thibena bawa api thanagatha yutuwe. Amen. Amen. Cuz you see what God's going to have you do he's going to have you praying for the sick. ராத்திரியே <laughs> 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 So every believer has faith. This am I the hill one take out of the hill that even and this makes the devil so mad. Thing yakshya ta boho tara hai. So what does he do? Kumak ta yakshya karanne. He tries to tell the church. Oh balanawa kiyanna sabawata. Well God's not happy with you. Devi anwanse wat ekak satutu ne. You've messed up. Oba kuma wara weda waraddala. Oh can I see a show of hands of anybody in this room who has never messed up? දැන් කවදාකවත් දෙයක් වැරදුනේ නැති Tamanට දෙයක් අත් වැරද්දක් වුණ නැති කෙනෙක් නැත්නම් අවුල් නොකරගත්තු කෙනෙක් ඉන්නවා නම් අත උස්සන්න පුළුවන්ද ආ බබා no one කවුරුත් නැහැ නේද well we've all done something that we've messed up ඒ ඉතින් අපි හැමෝම මොන හරි තැනක අවුල් කරගෙන තියෙනවා did that change god no did it change god ඒ දෙවි අනුහංසව වෙනස් කරයිද it didn't change god ඒක දෙවි අනුහංසව වෙනස් කරේ නැහැ Don't let it change you. Iti ita den ne pa ida ita oba wat menas karanna. If you've done something wrong, oba yam veradak kala nam. Confess that sin. Eka prakasha karanna e paape prakasha karanna. He is faithful and just. Unvahanse vishwasavantava dharmishtava sitina. To forgive you of that sin. E paapaya ta samava dena pinisa. And to cleanse you. E vage mobo pavitra karanna. From all unrighteousness. Siyalum adharmishta kambalin. Someone says what does the word all mean? Then can I say sialuma adharmishta kam kiyanne kumakda kiyanne? We need to dig 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 a deep a dig deep. Ja api gamburata haranna one. I mean you got to dig deep. What does the word all mean? Then me okoma sialuma kiyana wachane arthaya kumakda. Someone did a study on this word. Then me wachane gena kenek adhyanayak kara. And at the end of the study it passe ஆமேன்ஸ்ட <laughs> கம்மலின் <laughs> So you get up. You think about that thing now. And you use your faith. So be adhe hilo ba pavichi karano. To destroy the works of the devil. Yaksha ki kriya binasha kar da mana pinisa. Now come with me to Ephesians chapter 2. E pisa dekha. Ephesians chapter 2. And uh, here in Ephesians chapter 2. E pisa dekhe. We see two groups of people. Kandayam dekha kapi dakhinawa. And in verse 1 it says and you 
He made alive who were dead in your trespasses and sins. Numala numala ge varada saha paapa karana kota gena mati mari city kala. Now this vahan se numala jeevat kara seka. Now this first group is talking about you. Then me mul kandayama katha karanne oba ganai. You've been made alive. Oba va jeevat kara tibenawa. You were dead in your trespasses and sins. ඔබගේ වරද සහ පාපවල ඔබ මැරි සිටියා. But now you've been made alive. නමුත් දැන් ඔබව ජීවත් කර තිබෙනවා. You've been born again. ඔබ අලුත උපදේශ සිටිනවා. You have a brand new spirit. ඔබට අලුත් ආත්මයක් ලැබී තිබෙනවා. You have the same anointing that Jesus had. යේසුස් වහන්සේට තිබුණ ආලේපයම ඔබටත් ලැබී තිබෙනවා. You have the same faith that Jesus had. යේසුස් වහන්සේට තිබුණ ඇදහිල්ලම ඔබටත් ලැබී තිබෙනවා. And Jesus has tested the faith. යේසුස් වහන්සේ තුල ඇදහිල්ල පරීක්ෂා කර බැලුවා. And he's proved faith works. උන් වහන්සේ ඔප්පු කරා ඇදහිල්ල වැඩ කරනවා. So verse 2. දෙවෙනි පදය. Said in which you once walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience among whom also we once conducted ourselves in the lust of the flesh fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind and were by nature children of wrath just as others pera kale numala me loke vyavahara lesa aki karu kame putrayan tula den kriya karanna u aatmaya wana aakashe bale adhipatiyage kemathe hatiyata e vayehi hasuruneya two groups of people then kandayam deka one is now alive in christ then eka kandayamak den yesus wahanse tula jeevatwa sitinawa the other group is walking according to the world system anik kandayama loke krame hatiyata gaman karanawa they are now working disobedience then own tula aki karu kama kriya karanawa they are fulfilling the lusts of the flesh manshe kamatta un sampurna karamin sitinawa and the desires of the flesh and of the mind e wagema manshe saha manasa manasa tula trushnawal see this is the way you used to be then menna mehemai obat sitiye you were no threat to the devil then oba tarjanayak vevisi thibune naha yakshayata you just did whatever he said yakshaya kiyana onama deyak oba kala and the world right now is getting deeper in darkness then ada dawase lokayat gamburin gamburata andhakare gamburata gaman karana isaiah chapter 60 yesaya hata says that people are in darkness gross darkness the people etukota manushyan andhakare gana andhakare ta yanawa kiya tibenawa and so we see two darknesses i think apita andhakara wal dekak dakena number 1 they're in darkness because they're not born again i think palaweni karuna un nemata upadi sitina nathi nisa un andhakare sitima but gross darkness gana andhakare kiyanne is like having a blanket thrown over you e kiyanne hariyata loku retta ලොකු ගණකම් රෙද්දක් ඔබට ඔබට ඔබ උඩ දා ඔබ වහලා and you're drowning in sin ඊට පස්සේ ඔබ පාපයේ සිටිනවා වෙලී සිටිනවා and there's no way out ඔබට එලියට එන්න මාර්ගයක් නැහැ but then that verse goes on to say but the glory of the lord has risen upon you නමුත් ඒ පදේම කියනවා දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ තේජස ඔබ තුල උදා වී තිබෙනවා Amen. Amen. See you carry the glory. Itho pa deviyan mahanse ge mahimaya dara sitinawa. Everywhere you go. Oba yana hema tanakama. You carry the glory of God. Oba deviyan wahanse ge mahimaya dara sitinawa. See the devil doesn't want you to do that. Then yaksha kemathi na eka karanawa ta oba. He wants you to moan and groan and complain. Yaksha tone oba kondurumin dostabamin දුක්වෙමින් ශෝකවෙමින් සිටිනවාටයි Why is God letting this happen? ඇයි දෙවියන් වහන්සේ දහරින්න මෙහෙම වෙනවට? Oh this is what too many people in the church say. දැන් මේක තමයි සභාවේ බොහෝ දෙනෙක් පවසන්නේ. Oh why is God letting me go through this? ඇයි දෙවියන් වහන්සේ දහරින්න මට මේ තුලින් යන්න? Well God is not the author of sickness and disease. දෙවියන් වහන්සේ නෙමෙයි රෝගයේ සහල් ලෙඩවල කතෘ. He is not the author of poverty. දුප්පත් කමේ කතෘත් උන්වහන්සේ නොවේ. He is not the author of test trials or temptations. පීඩා පරීක්ෂා බාධකවල කතෘත් උන්වහන්සේ නෙමෙයි. 
It's the devil that comes to steal, kill and destroy. Yaksha thamai sora kam karantat marantat vinasha karantat peminenne. See you were no threat to the devil when you were in his kingdom. Then oge yaksha ge rajya sitna vita obawa yaksha ta tarjanayak voye na. But when you ask Jesus into your heart, namu Jesus swahan se oba obage hadavata aradhana kala mo. And you became a brand new creature. Oba alut mavillak puwata pasuwa. You carry the same anointing as Jesus. Jesus swahan se wage me aalepe oba darana vita. You've been given his faith. Unwahanse ge adahilla obata dii tibena vita. Now you are a threat to the kingdom Then of darkness. Then tamai andakare rajyata oba tarjanayak wenne. And everywhere you go. Tara soba yana sama tanakama. you carry the glory oba devi anwanse ge mahi me darang sitina you know every, everywhere i go mama yana hama tanakama and i've been to some interesting places mama ita unandu propothama sthana walata gihin tibena even here in sri lanka lanka ave pawa i won't tell the story but we we were talking at lunch today just some of the things that we did during the past history of sri lanka adithe lanka ve siddh api kala u dewal api ada dawal ahare ganakota sakachcha kala you know i i i one day god opened a door for me to go to north korea mata dorak vivrutha una uthuru korea hata yanna that's a very dark place janda kara sthanaya and so we went to north korea mama uthuru korea avata kiya and so people said to me manushyan mata kiwa Did you feel the oppression in that nation? I think e rate obata denune nadda thiyala pihidawa. Did you feel the demonic influence in that nation? Yaksha ge bala pahama obata denune nadda. This is Christians. Nan me amage me prashna haanne kithunu. I said what? Man hawa mokakda? I did not go to that nation to feel the oppression. E pidawal mata hangenna denenna nemei mama e rajyata ratata giye. Where the Christians get this crazy idea? E kohenda hithuruwanta me moda adahas paminenne. Over in in Isaiah it says oppression shall be far from you. E sokota Yesaya pothe thibenne me pidawal oben duras wenawa. I, I I don't go anywhere to feel the oppression. Then me mata pidawal hangenna denenna mama thang walata yanne ne. Did you sense the demonic influence? Then in are we here to buy a car? La ha no, obata he me hanguri nadda yakshya ge thi na pida wal balap he me rati. I'm not a witch. Mama Maya kariyek ne me. Witches go around collecting spirits. Maya kariyon karanne hamata na magila yaksha atma ekato karagano. I'm a Christian. Mama kithe no me. Spirits flee from me. Yaksha atma magen durvi ano. I don't go sensing evil spirits. Yakshatma denenne hange denenne nemei mata denenne ne hai yakshatma. Church. Sabhavata mam me kiyanne. We need to know what the word says. Vachane kiyana de api denagata yutu. Someone said didn't you feel the demonic influence in that nation? Etora hano magen e palate rate obata denunne nanta yaksha ge bala pam. I said oh no 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 wait a minute. Mam kiyano neha neha vinadi ad denna. In Psalms The book of Psalms. Gita valiya pote. It says the angels of the Lord will be encamped around about. Oh, Devi an mahan se ke do the an ma vata vata kar kandru bandi no kandu vuru bandi no. I didn't feel the demonic oppression. Ite mata yaksha ke balapem denu ne ne. But I felt the angels. Namun mata mata denu ne deva do the. Church the bible is so clear bible it up heavily it doesn't send you anywhere to feel the oppression or the demonic spirits un bible e unhanse oba kohewat yawanne naha yaksha ge balapam yaksha atma wala balapam obata denenna we had a big name faith preacher come to sydney a big named faith preacher prasiddha adahili vanta deshake paminiya australia avata and uh, as he said as i was coming into sydney na ho kiwa mama nagareta athulu no i could feel the oppression of the city amata denuna me nagare thina ama apahasuwa pida if i told you who it was you'd know mama kawuda kiyala kiwoth oba dannawa i want to stand up and say get on the plane and go back home mata the hituna kiyanne yata karuna karala guwan yaneyata nengala ay gedara yanna kiyala we got enough problems here without you saying he you felt the oppression and then obata me freeda wal hanguna denuna kiyala kiyinata wada apita athi taram prashna thiyena me rate i wanted to tell him it's humidity mata kiyanna hituna 
And we all feel the humidity. අපි හැමෝටම කාල ගුණය වෙනස නම් දැනුණා කියලා. But don't come here to our city to feel our oppression. ඉතින් මගෙන් අපෙන් ඇවිල්ලා අහන්න එපා ඕගොල්ලන්ට දැනෙනවද නිකන් ලොකු අමාරුවක් මේ පීඩාවක් මේ නගරේ. Carry the glory. ඔබ කරන්නේ දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ මහිමය දරාගෙන යෑමයි. And wherever you go. ඔබ යන හැම තැනම oppression must flee. පීඩාව පලා යා යුතුයි. Amen. Amen. I, I love the story of Joseph. Joseph ge katha wata man ita priya karana. Joseph was in prison. Joseph pitiye hira kidara. God gives him a vision and he comes before Pharaoh. Adang deviyan wahanse Joseph ta heenayak dunna hu. Pharaoh oi dirihita paminena. Pharaoh makes him the highest in the land. Pharaoh ohu e deshaye usasma ta adipati bawata pat kala. And Pharaoh said, "There's none above you except me, Pharaoh." Pharaoh, what you are, Mama Heron, the man called to put a hill in sitting there, and they had. And they put a robe on him. It was a Pharaoh who gave him. They gave him a, they gave him a, a ring. Mudak palendua. Sandals. Sapatu duna. And then they put him in a carriage. It was a who. And then everywhere he went. Ashokaratte ka demma. Slaves ran before him. Ashokaratte ka hu yana kotha. And said, "Bow the knee, bow the knee." And said, "Bow the knee, bow the knee." Wahalu yohu te isra hangi lakia ne mohuta namaskara karana mohuta namaskara karana. The highest in the land is coming through. Dem balan na deshe loko mati pati ay na ma. But this is a description of you. Dem meka. You be. Obadan ay kia ne. You've been given the robe of righteousness. Obata dharmishta kame vastre labi tibeno. You have a ring of authority. Obata adipatter mudda labi tibeno. Your feet are shod with the gospel uh, the preparation of the gospel of peace. Samadane subaranchana nemati pavahan obata labi tibeno. And everywhere you go. Taba yana hama thanama. Angels go before you. Deva dutya noba idiriyan yana. And they tell demon spirits bow your knee bow your knee the highest in the land is coming through. Eating oba e deva dutyo gihila kiyano yaksha atmata nam dana namanda dana නමන්න මෙන්න උසස්ම කෙනා පැමිණිනවා මේ නගරේ I'm telling you නව බඩ කියන්නම් you're going to be dangerous to the devil යක්ෂයාට ඔබ බයානක පුත්කලයක් වෙන්න යන්නේ I'm telling this is your day අදයි ඔබේ දවස we'll cover that tomorrow night now listen so we found the state you used to be in I think ඔබ කලින් හිටපු තත්ත්වය අපි බැලුවා don't go back to that දැන් නැවත ඔබ ඒකට යන්න එපා lust of the flesh මාංශයේ තෘෂ්ණාව and uh, conducting yourselves as the world conducts themselves ob loke hasuruna loke karna akartam obake jeevithat oba gaman karana with a spirit of disobedience aki karu kame aatmaya kethiwa now let me tell you if you start calling the things that are happening god i think oba siddha vena deval devyan mahanse kala kiyala oba kiyenawa nam you have taken on the spirit of disobedience enan oba akikaru kame putrayage aatmaya thamai oba labagena tibenne and we don't want you to do that nan api kemadi nah oba ese karnawata you've been called for better things oba va kentawa tibenne wada yahapat dewal sandahai amen amen okay let's go back to james api nawata yakob pota perlamu james chapter 1 yakob eka Let me just read verses two and three again. Now, what am I? Deka sahatum we ni padhe kiye bano. Says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Magi sahodari ani ane kaakar pariksha walta bate na kala esi alla prithi akya esi thanna. Now again why is James writing this? Then ai Jacob thuma mese liyanne. Because the early church manda mul sabahawa they lived in a real world. Oon sabaha loke ka jeevat thuna. Where you'll have to contend for the faith. You'll have to contend for faith. E adahillata oba pora bedimak thibuna. And people were going through things. Manushya deval walta muhuna demin sitiya. You know we hear sometimes with what's happening in the world right now. Then other day was it loke siddha vena samahara dewal api asana. There's never been a day like this day. Me wage dawasak ay kawadakak tibila ne. The world has never had to put up with what we're putting up with. Api api karana dewal kawadakak loke aya me wage prashna kawadakak wenne nahe kiyala kiyena. You know I have a, a message that I do to young people. Tharuna yanta man dena panwidiya tibena. I tell them this. Man, men na mehema kiyena. When I was a young man, mama tarune ekwi sitikale. 
people said oh this is the hardest time for young people tarunayanta meeka thama amaruma kaale kiyala kiyenawa there is there's never been a day like this me wage dawasak kawadaka tibila nae kiyenawa now i'm old enough to remember those days then mata e dewal mataka tiya ganna taram man but when i was a young when i was a young boy mama taruna kaale there was just as much sex available then as today ada dawase wageema ලිංගික පාපය ඒ දවසෙත් තිබුණා අද තියෙනවා වගේම just as much අද තියෙනවා වගේම i didn't do it though නමුත් මම ඒවට සම්බන්ධ වුණේ නැහැ yes uh, there was as much pornography ඒ වගේම අර අසභ්‍ය චිත්‍රපට රූප බලන දේවලුත් තිබුණා back uh, when i was young මම තරුණ කාලේ Uh, America almost went to war over the Cuban missile uh, situation. America va yuddha kala Cuba ave missile missile yak kina deyak yawpu welawe. Yeah, they they tell us in history looking back they were just minutes away from pushing the button to annihilate America. Eto kota America va vinasa karanna vinadi ayilu tibune bottama obanna. Uh, at that time the vietnam war was on ekale vietnam ay yuddhe thibuna and in australia we had uh, conscription australia ave apita conscription called up into the army apita anda gahuwa yuddhe hamudawata enna kiyala bendenna kiyala hamudawata and i was of the age to be called up dan e hamudawata bendena wayase thamai mama sitiyet i got called up matat anda gahuwa i was 2 years in the army mama urdu dekha One year, one year in Vietnam. I can't hold that Vietnam. Folks, I want you to know that we can say our oh, things have never been this bad. Me chera amaru khalya kya ne ka ek khalit mara tibuna mara kya ne pulang ek khalit khawa daagat vechhe nethi deval kolta mona dunna kya. But all we have is the devil repackaging the same thing over and over again. නමුත් අපි දකින්නේ කුමක්ද යක්ෂයා විටින් විට වරින් වර එකම දේ තමයි වෙනත් වෙනත් ස්වරූප වලින් ඉදිරිපත් කරන්නේ. And so we need to use our faith. තපට වෙනව අපි ඇදහිල්ල පාවිච්චි කරන්න. to ward off the attacks of the devil. යක්ෂයාගේ මේ වගේ පහර වලට විරුද්ධව සිටින පිණිස. James is saying to the early church. එතකොට යාකෝබ් මේ මුල් සභාවට කියන්නේ and that we know he starts off because he's talking to the 12 Uh, 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 the 12 uh, the 12 um a uh, tribes <laughs> the 12 tribes which have been scattered the visiri city avu gotra 12 ta tamai mohu me panvidiya liya ayawanne there was a great persecution happening in the church sabhava tula loku peedawak siddha wemin tibunu kaalaya and we can read in the book of acts that the believers were scattered everywhere etukota kriya pote api dakina ohun kohomada adihili vaddyan visiri giye kiya and so christians were asking why, why, why is god letting this happen tokota kituno i have ehi deviyan wan seida hari ne me deval walata james is answering that question dane prashne ta tamai yakob tuma pilithuru sapayanne i'm taking his words to answer that question here tonight da adharatri obatat e prashne ta pilithuru sapayanna man ohuge wachana pavichi karnawa god is not the one letting it happen දැන් දෙවියන් වහන්සේ නෙමෙයි ඒක සිද්ධ වෙන්න ඉඩ හරින්නේ. Now I hear comments like this. දැන් මම ඇවිත් මෙන්න මෙහෙම God keyword. God's in charge of everything. දෙවියන් වහන්සේ හැම දෙයක්වම හැම දෙයක් බාරව සිටිනවා. That's confusing, isn't it? දැන් එතකොට ඒක විහුල් භාවයක්, විහුල්තාවයක් නේද? I hear that all the time. ඒකත් මට නිතර හැන දෙයක්. God bless my pastor. මගේ සභා පාලක තුමටත් දේව පිහිටයි. But he says that all the time. නමුත් ඔහුත් ඒක හැම තිස්සෙම කියනවා. He says it's okay. He said it's okay. ඒක කමක් නැහැ කියලා ඔහු පවසනවා. God's in charge of everything. මේ හැම දෙයක්ම දෙවියන් වහන්සේ බාරව සිටින්නේ කියනවා. Is God in charge of everything? දෙවියන් වහන්සේ මේ හැම දෙයක්ම බාරව සිටිනවාද? He's not. නැහැ. Jesus when he went to heaven Jesus wahanse swargita giya welawe He said I'm putting you in charge. You wahanse kiwa man obatai meva bara denne. I'm giving you authority. Man obata adipatthe denawa. 
See, what are you doing with the authority that heaven has given you? Then swargya obada dee thibena adipatyen oba kumak karamin sidi neda. See, your authority in the name of Jesus. Then obada thibenne adipatya Jesus vahanse ge naame. Brings change. Ek ek thamai venasa athi karanne. Amen. Amen. If God was in charge of everything. Na deviyan vahanse nang hema deyakma baravathi sidi ne. It leaves a lot of questions. Loku prashna apita athi wenawa neda. But when we realize no matter what I got Peter what God did he put man back in his rightful place Thank the Vian Van Sikare Manushya city you to stand it and never the Peter way guy when Adam was first put here on earth Adam Palamu a me loke city Kale God gave him authority over everything the Vian Van Sikare see all like the name of the party out of the donna and when He bowed his knee to the devil. To go to Adam Yakshya to Dana Nemo Ahama. Jesus came. Jesus wants a Pamina. To restore your authority in the kingdom. E Deva Rajya Tula Obe Adipatya Nava the Pihit Vana Jesus wants a Pamina. Now this can seem rather hard. Then make a Tikak Amarui. So if things aren't going right. Then they will hurry, 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 and hurry, and go to. It's not God's fault. ियान <laughs> then make up to levy the vena when you're going through test trials and temptations it's rob pida wal pariksha wal asosisi kirim tuli yana vita and this is james bringing a word to the church that was going through persecution like you have not seen then oba dekha noti bena warge pida wal tulin sabhava muna dunna e avasthaye thamai yakob mese liya wewanne and he starts immediately giving the answer प्रश्न <laughs> I uh, was asked to come uh, many years ago teach in a Bible school. Then the Bible vidyale ko gannanna kya mangen ila sitiya. And the principal rang me up and said we'd like you to come and teach. Then oh vidwal pati tuma Bible vidyale mata durakathin amathala kiwa ila gannanna. We know you are going to teach the kingdom principle is now. Oh kiwa adda thawasata galapena rajya moola dharma oba gannanna bawa api dannawa. I said yeah that's what I'll do. Manko o ek thamai man karanne. He said we're going to have another teacher teach before you. Api thawa guru warek inna obata kalin ugannwanna. And he's going to teach the kingdom principle when you get to heaven. Oh swargeta giyata passe deva rajya moola dharma ohu ugannanawa. And before I could ask him why? Passe mama ai kela hannath issalla. He answered the question. Oh mage prashnata uttara dunna. We're going to give the students a choice. अपे शिष्य अंत तोरा के नहीं मत देना वा two sides of the they can choose which one they want to believe शिष्य अंत फुलो अंत तोरा ना कोई एक दे तोरा का नहीं किया so इधर हरी ना they didn't count on what I would do इतने उन टा प्रश्न या उन देने के नीचे ना माँग को मत करान टे आने so I started this teaching ते माँग उगान ना लगा था it got a lot of people mad बहु आये तो तारा गया So they wanted to ask questions. Then he had to ask a question. I'm not going to answer questions until the end of the course. Then me part of my life, we're going to come. Mama, ask me what to do. And then, if you have a question, I will answer it. It is possible, but a question is not a man who answers it. So I prayed. But the mama asked me, "Akala, give me a word, Lord, that I can bring." May I to gain a in a penny, sir? That they cannot ask a question after Prash- I have taught. Yeah, man, you want to pass the question? How to bury? Pani vidya. This is what God gave me. Me kai te me anwaanse mata dun. Husband love your wife as Christ loves the church. Christus vahanse sabawata prema kalak men purusheni varayawanta prema karanna. So you know some people say well God teaches us through sickness and disease. Samara kai giwa roga leda roga dila devi anwaanse apita paada ko gannana. He perfects us through calamity. Ma calamity me athi karala unwaanse apawa sampurna karana. So I said thukata man kiwa 
Mm, okay. Man ko ha. My wife's not perfect. Magi bare ya sampurna ne. So I see the bus coming down the street. Mata peno a bus rathya keno a vidhi. I will throw her under the bus. Mama ho a bus se ka yatta bhi sik karno. I'm going to act like God. Mama Devi and Vance Vagi Kriya. My wife needs some teaching and perfecting and correcting. Mage Bari Avat Avashe Samar Deval Hadimer Dikaran Ariga son. So under the bus she goes. Mama then Dano Yava Basaka Yatata. So, so then someone says, well, maybe God doesn't do that, He just allows it. It was a Kienoya, a Himalan Devian once and a may make a Kuran Naka wind, the Devian once he died. I said, my wife's in trouble now. She doesn't know when it's going to happen. I see the bus coming. I don't say anything. But I do allow her to get run over. I'm going to do what God does. And then someone says, well, maybe God will do it just once. I said, I like that idea. Just once. My wife will never know when it's going to happen. But I get one shot. One shot. To throw her under the bus. I said, I said, no, husbands are to love their wife as Christ loves the church. I said, if, I said, if God's the one causing our problems, we'll have to rip that out of the Bible. So at the end of my teaching that day, I said, has anyone got any questions about God's will to heal all now? And then No one had a question. Uh, by the way, they didn't ask me to come back and let the cast have two choices. And <laughs> See, I just loved slapping the devil across the face. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, where are we going now? I better keep with me. You said an hour and a half, didn't you? Is that all right? Are you all okay? Everyone okay? Okay, now listen. I've heard people say, Oh, that... that thing that I went through. Oh, I tell you, God taught me so much. I would not change it even if I could. You know, anything that happens in the natural is not God. God deals with us spirit to spirit. Now, see, I've known Christians that have gone through a hard time. And they get mad at God and walk away. Now, listen, if sickness was to perfect your faith or some hardship was to perfect your faith, you would all be strong in faith by now. You'd be powerful in faith. Because you've all had tests and trials. But tests and trials do not build your faith. See, people go to hospital every day sick. People go to hospital every day sick. Why aren't they perfected in faith? Do you think God picked you out special to make you sick? So you could be a giant man or woman in faith? No, sickness and disease is 
in the natural of which the devil controls then ya roge saha asani padibene swabhavika loke yaksha palane karannao palane tulai god is a spirit devyana se aatmya and he deals with your spirit unwahase obe aatmya samaga gan denu karanne and his word is spirit and life unwahase ge vachane aatmya saha jeevane so it's the word of god that changes you tin devyan wahase ge vachane ay oba wenas karanne someone says oh i just became so much stronger after i came through that sickness kene kewa kiyanna puluwang e rogeyen eliyata ama man godak shaktimat thuna i got into the word of god and started reading it every day දේව වචනයට ගිහිල්ලා මම දවස්පතා දේව වචනේ කියවන්න ගත්තා. Well folks it wasn't the sickness that made you strong. දැන් රෝගයද ඔබව ශක්තිමත් කළේ? It was the word of God. නැහැ දේව වචනේ ඔබව ශක්තිමත් කළේ. Would you like to know something special? විශේෂ දෙයක් ඔබ දැනගන්න කැමතිද? Don't wait till you get sick to get into the word. ලෙඩ වෙනකන් ඉන්න එපා වචනෙට යන්න. Be in it all the time. නිතරම වචනේ තුල සිටින්න. Amen. Amen. So how does faith come? කොහොමද ඇදහිල්ල පැමිණෙන්නේ? Well you know the answer to that. ඔබ ඒකට පිළිතුරු දන්නවා. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. රෝම 10:17. So then faith comes. ඇදහිල්ල පැමිණෙන්නේ. By hearing. ඇසීමෙන්. And hearing. ඇසීමෙන්. And hearing. ඇසීමෙන්. And hearing. ඇසීමෙන් the word of god දේව වචනය දිගටම ඇසීමෙන් amen amen Now, see if you keep on hearing නව දිගටම ආසා සිටි විට about covid 19 covid 9 covid virus එක ගැන i've got another message එතකොට මට දැන් තවත් පණි විදිහක් තිබෙනවා ඔබට දෙන්න where paul talks about that he's preoccupied paul තුමා කියනවා ඔහු යෙදි සිටිනවා in sharing the gospel subaranche peda ganima etula and if i was to ask the church today what are you preoccupied with mama how what oba kumak kerehida gena gena de mukak sambandhawada yedi sitinne wait a minute let me think about this then ma poddak inna mam me gena hitanawa what would we be preoccupied with mukak sambandhawada mama ye man yedi sitinne i know man danna covid covid virus e Seriously the church is preoccupied with covid. Then attata mai ma kiyanne sabahawa me covid virus e gena thamai yedi sitinne. I don't want to like here in Sri Lanka. Lanka wenan kumakda kiyala mama dahanne naha. We have people back home in Australia that still won't come to church. We have people back in Australia that still will not come back to church. Nawata sabahawata enne nathi aya hitiya Australia ave. We have Amat sabahawata enne nathi aya. We have others that say Don't take the needle it's the mark of the beast. Tava kattiya kitiya yaksha ge lakuna nisa Others enna ta ganne pa eka yaksha ge lakuna kiyala The mark of the beast. Yaksha ge lakuna ai enisa enna ta ganne pa kiyala Others say it's one world government. Tava kattiya kiwa eka palanayak tibena lokeya. They trying to control us. E un apo palane karanna hadana. I love my wife. මගේ බාරයාවට මම ප්‍රේම කරනවා. She is really a special lady. Yeah, ඇත්තටම විශේෂ කාන්තාවක්. So we got some friends saying, oh, I don't want anyone to know who I am and where I live. ඉතින් ඒ යාළුවෙක් කිව්වා මම කොහෙද ඉන්නේ කවුරුත් දැනගන්නවට මම කැමති නැහැ. I don't know whether you did this in Sri Lanka probably did QR codes you have to do a code to get into a building. Yes. QR codes. ලංකාවේ තිබුණා යම් කිසි කෝඩ් මාක් එකක් තිබුණා යම් දෙයකට ඇතුල් වෙන්න. And these friends says ඒකට ඇතුල් වෙන්න. They said we will not do the QR code. It was says ohun kiwa api nang meka karanne naha. We are not going to let the government know where we are. Api ta kemathi naha rathe rajya api kohida inne kiyala dana gannawata. My wife says you got a driver's license? Ah mage bare hawa obata riyaduru bala patriyak tibenawada. They said yes. Ohun kiwa o. I said they already know where you live. Ehe nang oba danata mat jeevath wena sthane ohun dannawa. They already know everything about you. Amba oba gana siyalakma ohun dannawa. You got a mobile phone? mobile phone ob ob dannawane mo jangama durakathane yeah we got a mobile phone jangama durakathane kobara thiyenawada oh kiyala oh they know all there is about you ehena own own danata mat oba kohida inne oba gena siyallakma dannawa so one of our one of these friends etakota me mitruwan gen ek kenek went and got a second mobile phone etakota gihilla tawath durakathana me jangama durakathaneyak wena ekak maru karanne so she can do 
one thing on one phone and something else on another phone and hopefully the government won't find out who she is. එතකොට ඕන කුමක්ද කරේ මොහ දුරකතන දෙකක් තබාගෙන එකකින් එක දෙයක් කරනවා තව එකකින් තව දෙයක් කරනවා එතකොට රජය දන්නේ නැහැ මොහොන් මොකද්ද කරන්නේ ඇත්තටම කියලා. The Christians. දැන් මේව කරන්නේ කෙතුනෝ. And they preoccupied. දැන් මේ වගේ දේවල් වල තමයි මොහොන් යෙදී සිටින්නේ. My challenge tonight. මේ රාත්‍රී මගේ අභියෝගය නම්. What are you preoccupied with? කුමක් කුමක් කෙරෙහිද ඔබ යෙදී සිටින්නේ? I got another friend. Mata tawa yal vek sitia. A lot of uh, some Christians uh, have the gospel of Facebook. Samahara kaya muhunu pota na mati subar anjia onta labi ti bena. The gospel of YouTube. Eva geba YouTube naali kawa na mati subar anjia. The gospel of Twitter. Twitter na mati subar anjia. And they can tell you every conceivable conspiracy theory. Onta hama. දෙයක් ගැනම රහසිගත ඕනම තොරතුරක් ගැන ඔබට කියන්න ඕනට පුළුවන්කම තිබෙනවා. I've even heard some of the strangest conspiracy theories and you wonder did you stay all awake all night to come up with that bizarre idea? Eating සමහරක් අදහස් මුළු රාත්‍රියේම බලලා මේ ගැන බල බල සිටිනවා. තොරතුරු දැනගන්නවා. Now we can talk a little bit about covid and then covid virus again apita poddak katha karanna puluwan but let's be preoccupied with the gospel namu subaranjiya gena yana wedehi thamai api yedi sitinno one amen amen too many christians today adda dawase boho kithunu help me lord help me lord the blood moon ida passe on ratu ratu handa gena katha karanna handa ratu vela kiyala You remember the blood moon? Oh, you've forgotten about the blood moon already. Oh. But I'm not going to allow them here. Hand the ratu vi magena. I'm going to get into trouble. Too late. Le ratu vi. The blood moons were everything to the end of the world. Then le ratu vi na hand the gena tamai loke anti me gena sadhan vi ne. I'm not trying to be funny here. Then mama vi hi lo karan hand the ratu vi. අපි යථාර්ථයට මුහුණ දෙන්න ඕනේ. Some of you are already scratching your head. Blood moon what's he talking about? දැන් සමහරක් අය දැන් තමයි තොලු කසන මේ මොකක්ද මේ ලේ රතු වෙන හඳ. Oh a couple of years ago it was the main thing and people wrote books. දැන් වාචන කීපෙට කලින් අම් චිත්‍රපට හැදුවා, පොත් ලියුවා. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Twitter පණිවිඩ ඒ වගේම YouTube නාලිකාව සහ මුහුණු පොතේ සඳහන් වුණා. And people were preoccupied. මනුෂ්‍යයන් මෙන්න මේ දේවල් වල තමයි යෙදී සිටියේ. This is a sign of the end of the world. දැන් මේක ලෝකයේ අන්තිමේ ලකුණු කියලා කිව්වා. And now corona virus has come along. ඊට පස්සේ කොරෝනා වෛරසය ආවා. It's taken the place. දැන් මුළු තැනම අරගෙන තිබෙන්නේ. The end of the world. ලෝකයේ අන්තිමේ කියන තැනට වඩා දැන් කොරෝනා වෛරසය ඇවිත් තිබෙනවා. And we don't want to make light of Ukraine. ඉතින් අපි යුක්‍රේන රටේ ප්‍රශ්නය සුළු කරන්න නැහැ. But in Australia, Ukraine pushed COVID off the map. Eating Australia with them, what the hell are they? In Ukraine, they have a problem. They have a COVID problem. But that's the hell. I'm preoccupied with the gospel. The mama na mona wedi the jadi city ne subha ranchia beda di me. You cannot get me into a conversation about conspiracy theories. Then me wage keka keka thoru thoru sambandava obata kisi bita kat bari wena mage avadaniya ganna. So where does faith come from? Da adahilla paminenne kohenda? It comes from what you hear. Oba asanna avu de tulin thamai adahilla paminenne. And Jesus said be careful what you hear. Jesus wahanse kiwa oba asanna de gena parisam wenna. For what you hear will be measured back to you. Mokoda obata asanna de obata nawata paminenne yanawa. And it gets even worse. O ita wada wedi vela ay obata paminenne. Cuz Jesus said and more beside. Jesus wahanse kiwa wedi vela thamai labenne. So be careful what you hear. Itin oba asana de gena oba parissam wenna. Build yourself up on the word. Deva wachane amata obage jeevithaya kuda naga ganna. So faith comes by whatever you hear. Itin adahila paminenne oba asana de tulen. And you can come very strong in believing a conspiracy theory. Itin menna me wage yam yam toraturu sambandhawa ඔබට ඉතා ශක්තිමත් විදිහට ලොකු බලපෑමක් ඇති වෙන විදිහට ඔබට ඇදහිල්ලක් ඒ ගැන ඇති වෙන්න පුළුවන්. You can become a world expert. ඉතින් ඔබට 
ඒ සම්බන්ධව විශේෂඥයෙක් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. And if you're a Christian, ඔබ කිතුනුවෙක් නම්, you can write a book. ඔබට පොතක් පවා ලියන්න පුළුවන් වෙනවා. And make a lot of money. ඒකෙන් මුදල් හම්බ කරන්නත් පුළුවන්. Because Christians follow after conspiracy theories instead of the word. ඉතින් වචනය වෙනුවට එක එක කුමන්ත්‍රණ ඉගැන්වීම් ගැන දැනුවත් වෙනවා කිතුනුවෝ දේව වචනයට වඩා. All right, I've got myself in trouble, so let's move on. ඉතින් දැන් පං ලොකු ප්‍රශ්නක පැටලෙන්න යන නිසා අපි ඉදිරියට යමු. We're in very interesting times. ඉතින් තාමත් ප්‍රබෝධ මත් කාලවල. And it's time as these pastors would do to talk straight. ඉතින් මෙම කාලවල් වල අපි සභා පාලකවරුන් කරන්නේ ඇදහිල්ල ගැන කතා කිරීමයි. Because we're going to find out tomorrow night the father has a need of you. ඉතින් අපි දැන් අපි ඉගෙන ගන්න යන්නේ ස්වපියාණන් වහන්සේට ඔබ අවශ්‍යයි. But there's a spiritual battle going on. නමුත් ආත්මික සටනක් සිද්ධ වෙනවා. The devil is trying to take the church and convince them that God is the one causing the problem. යක්ෂයා දැනුවත් කරන හදනවා සභාවට මේ ප්‍රශ්න ඇති කරන කෙනා දෙවියන් වහන්සේ කියලා. Where God is raising up an army. දෙවියන් වහන්සේ හමුදාවක් කොටනගමින් සිටිනවා. and i want you to be a part of that army dan man kemathi obatte hamudawe kotas karuwek wenna this is what the pastors are here for dan me wen me sadaha tamai sabha palaka borun sitinne we'll talk about that tomorrow night heta ratri api egena katha karamu so first peter chapter 2 eka petrus deveni parichedaya and verse 2 deke deka and here's a word for the church today මේ වචනේ අද දවසේ සභාවටයි. You can feed on Twitter. ඉතින් ඔබට පුළුවන් Twitter වල You can feed on Facebook. Twitter වලින් මූණ පොතෙන් පෝෂණය ලබා ගන්න පුළුවන්. You can be obese on YouTube. පෝෂණය ලබාගෙන අධි පෝෂණය ඇති පුද්ගලෙක් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. Here's a word for you. දැන් බලන්න මෙන්න ඔබට වචනය. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 2. එක පේත්‍රුස් 2:2. As new born babies desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow thereby atmika vu amishra vu kirivalin nubala ganavima sandaha vartane wana pinisa aluta upan binidun men ehata boho aasha wenna tungeni pade thamai thibenne see the gospel is so simple subaranjita saralai we have needed a lot of help to get it as confused as it is ඉතින් දැන් තිබෙන you grow මේක ඉතාම සරල සුබාරංචි කියන්නේ සරල දෙයක් you grow by desiring the sincere milk of the word ඉතින් අමිශ්‍ර වූ කිරි නැමති දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ වචනයට ආශා වීමෙන් තමයි ඔබ වර්ධනය වන්නේ so uh, let's go back to James I'm about to finish අපි නැවත යාකෝබ් පොත දෙස because James hasn't finished correcting the early church. මුල් සභාව හරිගස්සලා යාකෝබ් මෙතනදි හරිගස්සා ඉවර නැහැ. And so in James chapter 1 යාකෝබ් එකේ in verse 16 16 He says, "Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren." Maage prema vanten sahodareni nora vatenna. What's he saying to the church? Kumakto hu sabha vata pavasanne. Don't make a mistake. Veratak atveratak karaganne pa. Don't get sidetracked. Venatakato bage manasa yomuenne pa. He's saying, "Please, please, don't be deceived." Karuna kar, karuna kar, nora vaten. And then the next verse. Vasi tamai lagapa de. He says, "Every good and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, of whom there is no variation or shadow of turning." Sama yaha patti madhe, sama sampur na di mana vada. Kiri kisi vena swima kwat, hari me chaya vakwat ne tavu, alo kola piyana nwanse kiren ihalin besa inneya. So this word that James gave the early church. I think me vachane tamai Yakob tuma mul sabhavata laba dunne. It's just as important to us today. Ata dawase apita vedagat wenawa sema. Brothers and sisters. Saudara sahodareni. Don't err. Varata ganne pa. Don't be deceived. Oba bula wenne pa. 
Listen, God only gives good and perfect gifts. Devyan vaanse denne yaapat sa sampoorna deemana aval pamanai. I was talking to one of our pastors in India. India ve samahara sabhapu palaka urunna mata kala. He was telling me that some pastors over there were preaching God sent corona virus to punish sinners. ඉතින් ඔව් උගන්වා තිබෙනවා ඔහු මට කිව්වත් වෙනත් සභා පාලකවරෙක් උගන්වනවා කියලා කොරෝනා වෛරසය දෙවියන් වහන්සේ වුවා පෞකාරයන්ට දඬුවම් කරන්න. I've heard this preached in other nations. දැන් අනිත් රටවල වලත් මේ මෙසේ දේශනා කරනවා මා ආසා තිබෙනවා. Can you imagine making an altar call for salvation after that? දැන් ඒකෙන් පස්සේ යාඥා කරන්න ඉස්සරහට එන්න කියලා යේසුස් වහන්සේ පිළිගන්න එන්න කියලා අපිට කියන්න පුළුවන්ද? If if I was in the church I'd run out. දැන් මම මම එතන හිටියා නම් මම පලා යනවා. No no God only gives good and perfect gifts. නැහැ ඇත්තටම දෙවියන් වහන්සේ දෙන්නේ යහපත් සහ සම්පූර්ණ දීමනාවල් පමණයි. And he never changes. වහන්සේ කිසි විටකත් වෙනස් වෙන්නේ නැහැ. You know I've had people say to me. දැන් මිනිස්යන් මට කියා තිබෙනවා. God just couldn't possibly love me. You don't know what I've done. මට නම් මේකෙන් බේරුමක් නැහැ මා දන්නේ නැහැ මං කුමක්ද කරලා තිබෙන්නේ කියලා. And and I look at them. I want to ask you a question. You mean to tell me God couldn't love you? Mangana, we are here to tell you that we are not saved. Very much, we are to pray for you. So I look at them. It was a man who did a balloon. I say, who do you think you are? ඔබ කවුරු කියලාද ඔබ හිතන්නේ? I mean who do you think you are? ඔබ කවුරු කියලාද ඔබ හිතන්නේ? You think you change God? ඔබ හිතනවද ඔබ දෙවියන් වහන්සේව වෙනස් කරනවා? Who do you think you are? ඔබ කවුරු කියලාද ඔබ හිතන් ඉන්නේ? That what you did change God. දැන් ඔබ කරපු දේ ඔබ දෙවියන් වහන්සේව වෙනස් කළා. You cannot change God. ඔබට දෙවියන් වහන්සේ වෙනස් කරන්න බැහැ. He loves you. උන් වහන්සේ ඔබට ප්‍රේම කරනවා. The same as he loves Jesus. උන් වහන්සේ යේසුස් වහන්සේට ප්‍රේම කළා සේම. See he never changes. දැන් උන් වහන්සේ කිටුවිස් කිසි විටකත් වෙනස් වන්නේ නැහැ. It's important we understand the character of God. දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ චරිතය තේරුම් ගැනීම ඊටා වැදගත්. And you see that in the new covenant. අලුත් ගිවිසම තුල අපි එක දකින්නවා where jesus came and he bought a new and better covenant jesus wahanse alut saha wada honda givisumak kenawa see they didn't understand under the old covenant what has been revealed to us under the new then parana givisuma kumakta kiyala therun ganna bari una alut givisume di elidara wo de and under the old covenant the devil wasn't defeated දැන් පරණ ගිවිසුමේ යක්ෂයා පරාජය වී සිටියේ නැහැ. But he has been defeated under this covenant. නමුත් මේ ගිවිසුම තුල යක්ෂයාව පරාජය කර තිබෙනවා. You know I hear famous preachers say your sins have been cast as the east is from the west. දැන් ඔබගේ බව දැක තිබෙනවා ජන ප්‍රසිද්ධ දේශකයෝ කියනවා ඔබගේ පව් නැගෙන හිරින් බස්නා හිර දක්වා දුරු කළා. And I want to get up and shout. මට නැගිටලා කියන්න හිතෙනවා කෑ ගහලා. That's a lie. ඒක බොරුවක්. Why deceive the people? Ai api manushyan mula karanne. Your sins have been cast from the east from the west. Nagare hirin nem basna hira dakwa nemei obe paapa duru kara tibenne. Under the new and better covenant. Alut givisuma tula yahapat givisuma tula. Your sins have been nailed to the cross. Obage paapa kuruse tena gasa tibena. And taken away. Eka iwat kara tibena. Amen. Amen. See we got to live in the new covenant. Tapi alut givisuma tulai jiwa kiyate. Now if I was under the old covenant. Tapi parana givisuma tula sitiya nam. I'd be grateful my sins were cast as far as the east from the west. Etu kota mama krutakna shili wenawa e mage pau negena hirin basna ayita dura korata. The only problem is. Namuth ekama prashnaya. They still there. Eka hetana tawamat tiyenawa. But under this new and better covenant. නමුත් අලුත් සහ වඩා හොඳ ගිවිසුම තුල. Jesus nailed your sins to the cross. Jesus වහන්සේ ඔබේ පව් කුරුසේ ඇන ගැසුවා. Taking them away. Amen. So we need to know the promises of God. ඉතින් දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ පොරොන්දුව අපි දැනගත යුතුයි. So James is telling the early church. ඉතින් යාකෝබ් මුල් සභාවට පවසා සිටින්නේ. Don't be deceived. ඔබ මුලා වෙන්න එපා. God only sends good and perfect gifts. දෙවියන් වහන්සේ වන්නේ යහපත් සහ සම්පූර්ණ දේවනාවල් පමණයි. He doesn't send sickness to teach you. ඔබට ගන්නන්න පාඩම් ගන්නන්න උන් වහන්සේ ලෙඩ රෝගය වන්නේ නැහැ. To perfect you. ඔබව සම්පූර්ණ කරන්න. To discipline you. ඔබව විනයානුකූලව හදන්න. Now that's not a good gift. නැහැ ඒක හොඳ දේ. Well God made me sick. Well God made me sick. දෙවියන් වහන්සේ මාව ලෙඩ කළා. 
I'm so grateful. I became a better Christian. That is so sad. Everybody in your hospital, in, in our hospital, if God used sickness, they would all get saved. Come on. But they're not getting saved because they have to hear the gospel. Come tomorrow night. So therefore, when we understand the principles of test trials and temptations, and we know God is not the one sending it to test us, it's the devil coming to steal your faith, then I can use my faith against the work of the devil, knowing I am not resisting God. Amen. Amen. See, James chapter 4, verse 7. Yaakob hatari hata. It says, therefore, submit to God. Resist God and he will flee from you. Namut yakshata virudha venda Oh, wait a minute. That was the gospel of Twitter. No, wait a minute. Oh, oh, no, the Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Amen. Amen. So tonight, I'm right on time. As we come to the end of this message, I wanted to encourage you tonight. We all live in a real world. We've got real financial situations. Some of you might have health situations. And God forbid, some of you got family situations. So I want to encourage you tonight that through the testing of your faith it produces patience. And patience is the ability to stand until you see the change. See, you can go down to McDonald's. Now, you have takeaway McDonald's here. You drive up to the window. Then, yeah. Well, too many Christians think God's like that. Back in Australia, they have two windows. Well, actually, three. Three windows. One, you give your order. The next one you pay your money. And the third one as you drive past. They throw your burger in as you go. And we think God should be McDonald's. I put my money in. I gave my order. I'd driven past, but nothing happened. No, God is not a McDonald's. It's faith and patience. And we have to have the patience to stand for all our life. No matter how old, how young you are, you make the decision. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting ahead of you. <laughs> it's 8 30, let's stand up. Well, I trust that this word has encouraged you tonight. And I know because we have a group of people here tonight. Uh, you know, there are many. 
things that you are confronted with in life. But with everything you're confronted with, thank God there is one thing that can change it. And that's, and that's faith in God's word. And so I want to encourage you tonight. Because the days ahead, and, and Pastor said this tonight, we're living in exciting times. And if I could say it this way, you haven't seen anything yet. God's got some very exciting things for us in the days ahead. And he needs you and I standing in faith. Amen. Amen. Okay. Come on, lift your hands. Let's do business with God. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you tonight. Here is part of your church. You've called them into the kingdom for such a time as this. And you have placed the most precious gift you have in them. You've put your Holy Spirit in them. And then you gave everyone here your faith. And I thank you tonight, everyone here is a world overcomer. They resist the devil. They're not going to resist you, Lord. They know, they know you only give good and perfect gifts. But we resist the devil tonight. We give him no place. And we declare the word of God over every situation here tonight. Over everybody that needs healing. Over everybody that needs financial breakthrough. Over everybody that has a family uh, situation. Father, I thank you. Your faith gives us victory over the world. And you are preparing your church, each one here, to do their part in your kingdom in the days ahead. And we thank you for it, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give the Lord praise tonight. Give him praise. Worship the Lord. Come on. Come on, worship him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What he has done. The blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Not only cleansed us from all unrighteousness, destroyed the works of the devil, and put you in a place of authority and, and lordship over the circumstances in your life. So come on, come on. Worship him. If you, you need a breakthrough, this is your breakthrough. Your worship, your faith, your declaration, your praise, your praise moves the circumstances, your praise brings a breakthrough. Your praise brings deliverance. Your praise sets the enemy uh, on the run. And we want the enemy on the run tonight. We don't want to give the enemy any place. We want joy. We want to jump up and down. If you, if you need a breakthrough, maybe you should jump up and down. Maybe you should spin around. Put something on your face that the world can see. Sorry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.